today's video. It's gonna be a very chill video, and instead of seeing me in the video like you typically do, I'm actually gonna be giving you a tour of my brand new beauty room. If you guys have been following me for a while now, you probably noticed that my background changed a few months ago, and that is because my husband and I bought our very first house. So basically because now we own our own house, we can do whatever the flip we want with it, and so I'm really excited because I've been working on this room for a few months now. We moved in in February. It is now almost September. What? I don't know where time went, but I'm really excited to show you this room because I have just worked so hard on it, and a lot of changes have happened since my very last tour. It's still a much more humble video than a lot of other beauty room videos, mainly because A, I, while I do get a lot of PR packages, I don't get half the PR packages that a lot of other YouTubers get, but I'm still very thankful for what I have. And honestly, at this point, I feel like I have quite a bit of makeup and I'm running out of room. <laughs> so. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you are looking to do a beauty room of your very own, I hope this gives you some sort of inspiration. But anyways, if you'd like to see my beauty room tour, then just keep on watching. So this is the makeup area slash my desk workspace. So first and foremost on the desk, I just put my other acrylic lipstick drawer up there just because there's really not space for it right now. Um, but I have my laptop up here and then I have my planner here which I would keep all of my client information and all that so that's for work. Um, I have this little gold stapler I got from Target a few years ago. I'm sure they still sell it. This is like one of my absolute favorite things. This is from Doll 10. So it's just this cute little glitter stamp with my social media handle on it. I think that is just so cute. They always give the cutest freaking gifts, I swear. And then I have this little copper basket that I just got at Marshalls, but I do see that they have one similar on Amazon, so I'll link that down below. I have just like a little notebook, um, this really beautiful Pretty Happy Kate Hudson book, and then I have a clipboard that I also take with me for client. This little gold holder I got from Marshalls as well, and then I just picked up some of these cute pens. Right now is the best time to get stationery from Marshalls and TJ Maxx because they have a lot of stationery and desk type accessories. So one thing about me is that I always have candles burning in the house. So here's just a couple little candle holders. This is from the dollar store. They always have cute little gold candle holders. And then this little, I don't even know what you would call it. It's just so beautiful. It kind of reminds me of like a geo rock or something. But that I got from Marshalls recently. I have my two acrylic drawers right here. All the acrylic holders I did get off of Amazon and will link down below. But the way I organize my lip products is that I have all of the Ofra liquid lipsticks up here with the Kylie Cosmetics because they all just happen to fit perfectly there. And then and this one I have all the CoverGirl. I like these drawers because they come with the two small ones and then the rest of them are like one size. So in this drawer I just have all of the lippies or lip crayons and then in this drawer I have all my doll 10 stuff I have all NYX cosmetics in this drawer um, I have all the Lux liquid lipsticks J Manuel Jean to blue and I believe underneath I have the kiss New York Pro in this drawer I have all buxom and Anastasia Beverly Hills and ColourPop mainly because the ColourPop and Buxom look really similar packaging wise so they just look nice in the drawer together and this is my random drawer just filled with a random bobby pin I guess and just like one brand that I don't have multiples of or maybe I just have two they all kind of go in there these little glass vases I have left over from my wedding I use them as brush holders because these are the rest of the brushes that I have so these are all like doll 10 brushes and then like my Sigma Kabuki brushes or just random, I don't know, elf brushes. So these drawers I get from Michaels are really, really affordable and so easy to put together. They are typically $99, but because they always have that 40% off coupon on one item, you can always use that on those. And I get them for $60 a piece. In this first drawer, it kind of looks like a mess and that's pretty much because it is. It's really hard to organize all this stuff so this is the best way i figured how this is all my brow products so everything here and then i have a few more in the back and then this is all my 
colored eyeliners or bigger lip liners that don't fit in the lip liner drawer. And then this is all my black liner, regardless of if it's liquid, pen, whatever. It's all there, all black there. And then these are my mascaras. I have lash glue, eye primers and such like that. And then kind of like back in the drawer, there's some extra product that don't fit in these drawers or these organizers. And then I have some sharpeners as well. This is drawer one of two of eyeshadow palettes. I don't really know how to organize these the best way. I don't have much surface space, so this is the best way I could figure how. So pretty much all of the palettes that are in this shape are in that drawer, and then I started to add like, you know, if I have multiples of the tinier square palettes, then those go there. And then I kept this little Urban Decay one here because all of my Urban Decay is in this drawer, so I figured it just worked for that. This is eyeshadow drawer number two, and that's just basically just all the other palettes that I have, whether they're small, whether I have multiple or not, I just thought that they went better in that drawer. This is my lash drawer. It's pretty much full of bold face makeup lashes because they sent these to me. So whatever is sent to me is pretty much what I use. I don't really feel the need to buy more lashes right now when I already have all of these. This bottom drawer is kind of broken. This is my first set of drawers, but this is where I keep all my back stock of products. So this set of acrylic drawers has the rest of my Kylie Cosmetics um, lip products. All of my liners fit right nicely here. I love that. I have never had a space where my liners fit perfectly, and so getting a second set of acrylic drawers really saved me. I have the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lip Collection in this drawer and in this drawer, but this one has extra space in the back so that if I get any more lip products that could fit there, that'll be good. This is my Urban Decay drawer, just full of tons of their products. And then this bottom drawer has Lancome and Gerard Cosmetics. So up here on this wall, I actually was trying to figure out for the longest time what I was going to do. I try to be budget friendly when it comes to doing things in this room because things can get really expensive. So all of these gold frames surprisingly did come from the dollar store and I didn't even have to paint them. They just were this really beautiful gold. So even the little small one on top of these drawers, they were all a dollar each, which I thought was cool. And then to save money, I created the Wake Up and Makeup on Word. So you can do that too. It was super easy. These lashes I purchased from Etsy for like four bucks. And then the Carrie Bradshaw quote is also something I purchased from Etsy. I love Sex in the City. I love Carrie Bradshaw. So I thought, why not put one of her quotes in here. And then this lip canvas was from Marshalls from years ago. My husband got it for me for Christmas and I just never really had the right place to put it. So I'm glad that I can finally hang it up. Up top here, I also have another one of the dollar store candle holders and a little tea light. This copper mirror I got from Marshalls as well. And then I have another loving tan quote that says the most beautiful thing a woman can where is confidence. So I just love their little postcards with all their packages and I try to frame them because they just go with everything here. Here is where I have two drawers stacked because it just seemed to work well for me. So it's not one solid drawer, they are two stacked and I think that's kind of obvious. So up here in the top is where I keep all my skincare products that I don't use every single day. So basically all my face masks, and serums, sprays, things like that are all in here. And then I have my Sigma brush cleaning mat and some of their magic foam. This drawer is my primer drawer and also my face sprays. So like setting sprays and priming sprays, those are all in this drawer and that's all I put in this drawer. This drawer is all of the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. So this drawer is pretty heavy. But again, I'm definitely not going to be able to use all these shades. I'm going to probably put these in giveaway sometime soon. This drawer right here is my other foundation drawer. So these are the foundations that I wear on a daily, but sometimes I do wear my shade in the True Blend CoverGirl. And then this is my very small concealer drawer. Again, like I'm not crazy about buying a ton of makeup, but if something's sent to me, I'm glad to put it somewhere and organize it. Moving down, this is also a drawer that has room to grow, which I like to have. I don't like to have everything super cluttered, but this is my 
foundation powders or setting powders drawer and that's all this drawer is used for. This drawer is specifically about bronzers and contouring powders and things like that. So all this drawer has is just bronzers and all that and it has room to grow as well. This is my blush drawer so again I have it separated blushes bronzers and highlighters are all separated so this is all for blush and it also has room to go which i love i hate when things are like packed tight this is my highlighting drawer so powder and liquid highlighters they're all in there this one is a little bit cluttered this bottom drawer is all of my single eyeshadows so i have all the buxom here um kiss new york pro random pigments color pop nyx whatever and then a bunch of like eyeshadow pens and stuff like that, but I just felt like this drawer needed its own thing because it was just, it's crazy overflowing to me as it is. So I just love just this little section. I like the way that I set it up. It gives me the most optimized space. This room's not huge. I chose the smaller room because obviously I want our bigger rooms to be for future babies and things like that. And I just thought it's better to stay in the small room where I don't have to move all this stuff someday for something else it can just always stay right here and this is just my little office so next here this also was in my last room tour this is my shoe rack this used to be a black ikea shelf that i spray painted rose gold so i keep all my shoes in here because although we have a walk-in closet it's still not very big it just makes sense for me to put all my shoes here. I have this cute little built-in. Our house is like a little bit of an older home. So I have this built-in and these drawers are just kind of filled with like paperwork and stuff that's not important. But I love how it has this little shelf. So I have that little letter board there. And I have just, I love the doll 10 bags. So I have a doll 10 bag back there, some beauty books, and just some cute little flowers. So this is my little infamous space for where I film in front of. This is actually the first video that this table has been in because I did switch out my desk for this table for filming because I just felt like I don't need a giant desk here and my door is right there so I don't need anything crazy huge. I just wanted a cute little background and that's pretty much what the point of this wall has always been. But I love this background. It's taken me a really long time to finally figure out exactly what I wanted it to look like but once I've kind of got all the details down, I've been in love ever since. So this little table I got from Amazon for like 60 bucks. It was so affordable. It's really sturdy. It feels like like really good quality and kind of my reasoning for getting it too was like if I ever stop using this as a beauty room or whatever someday this table can be used elsewhere in my house so I got this little plant here I just like the little white and pink vase this I just saw was on TJ Maxx recently on their website but I did get this at Marshall's so if it's still available on TJ Maxx I will link it down below I had these little fairy lights that I also got from Target so I can try to find those online and link those below. They're really really cheap in my last beauty video You did see this art print that I had in my video. I absolutely love it I just love the colors the design and everything. It's super unique to me and then this little Picture was actually giving to me from doll 10. They made a print of me, which I thought was so incredibly sweet I literally almost cried when I opened it. I thought that was just the nicest thing ever So thank you so much doll 10 again. I have a candle I just love candles burning all the time But um in my videos I try to always have one burning as well and then these little gold candle holders these were candle holders. Um, these were from Target. I got them on clearance last year. I'm sure like the dollar store or something has something similar. And I typically keep the rest of my brushes over here because there's not a whole lot of surface space on the other side of the room. And I think it looks okay to be in the backgrounds. So I just try to keep my gold, rose gold, and silver brushes in this jar. And then all my eye brushes are back there. Down here, because there is space, I just put this little designed together so I have a photo of my husband and I from when we were dating and then I have another loving tan print that says a girl should be two things classy and fabulous and then I have another candle from Target down below and then on this side I just have my little copper E that I love I found that at Marshall's a long time ago I don't know I just put it there and then another little art print that says hello gorgeous all right guys so that's it for my beauty room tour I hope you enjoyed I hope you Love it. Probably not as much as I love it, but I love it. And I'm really so happy that I got to sit down and finally film a video of my finished beauty room. There are some changes I still want to make to it. This is just going to be an ever-evolving project. Trust me. If you like to watch beauty room tours, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time.